morning, Saratoga High School. Today is December 11th, and I'm Sabrina Clark. And I'm Jennifer Chen. Welcome to the final SHS TV broadcast for 2015. Come to the book club meeting today at lunch in room 005 for food and book ideas. The Arthritis Foundation will be accepting applications starting on December 15th for their 2016 Summer Science Internship Program. This program places 12 outstanding students in the laboratories at UC San Francisco and Stanford University. Interns will receive hands-on experience in the fields of rheumatology and immunology. Students can learn more about the internship and apply on their website. At the start of the semester, we've profiled some new classes being offered at Saratoga High School. As first semester comes to a close, we checked in with how those new classes have been going. We get to go pretty hands-on with the work that we do. Like we have this breadboard, which is, and we plug in wires and use different chips. I didn't really come in with many expectations, but it's definitely been a lot of fun. But yeah, Miss Thurman's the teacher. Uh, she's really great. She's also the drama teacher, so we have a lot of fun. And there's a lot of kind of we're doing script writing right now, and it's really great because it's like we get to participate with the drama department. Plus, we get to do a lot of writing. The Saratoga Marching Band has had an impressive year. To cap it off, the band will travel to Pasadena over Christmas break to perform in the Tournament of Roses Parade on New Year's Day. We asked Mr. Boyce about how the band got into the parade and how they are preparing. You have to send in years of videotape, um, a biography of the band, a biography of the program, biography of the school, um, and the application is pretty thick and extensive. Today is our last rehearsal before the holiday break. And then we don't see everybody together again until December 26th, the day after Christmas. We have two rehearsals and then we do it. So we're trying to um, make sure that we're giving the kids the very best opportunity to be proud and feel great about what they're doing, but we're also trying to not kill them with time commitment. If you took the PSAT in October, scores will be made available from College Board in January. Directions will be emailed to you about how to access scores online, and paper scores will also be mailed home in January. Seniors, if you are looking for scholarship opportunities, check the list in your Navion's account under the College tab at the bottom in the Scholarships and Money section. Despite the recent rains, California is still in the middle of a drought. SHSTV took a look at the issue and filed this report. I know there's definitely a serious stress on the groundwater. I know a lot of it's like there's a lot of agriculture that goes on, especially in California. Um, and the decreasing level of groundwater is continuously an issue. So that's something that people don't really think about, that there's not just water coming from above, but it's actually below us too. So The drought's really affecting all parts of California, that there are a lot of wildfires and it's causing um, just people to lose their jobs and having, causing an economic impact as well. But like we've heard California reports about how there's a lot of uh, rural communities that don't have enough water and that are a lot uh, more impacted than we are being in such a more affluent, affluent community. People know that we're in a drought, but people like to joke about it. People like to say that, oh, we're in the drought. And the one time it rains, like everyone's like, oh, we're out of the drought, but it's not true. We've still got a long time ahead of us before we actually do something about it. This week, we checked up on our varsity girls basketball team. Starting off the season, they beat Half Moon Bay, scoring 38-27. Eleni Sparakis and Ariana Godarzi led the team in points, and Aaron Norris led in steals. Junior varsity boys soccer also had a great win this week. They won in the landslide 6-0 against Prospect. Charles Deplin led in the team with goals, and the boys had a great defensive shutout. Seniors, remember to turn in your grad night forms before the end of the semester. Ticket prices will go up in January. More information can be found on the school website under the Community tab. Before we wrap up for the semester, we'd like to send happy birthday wishes to Michael Linney, James Lorenz, Arjun Ramanathan, Samuel Yang, and a very special happy birthday to our very own Sabrina Clark. <laughs> this has been Sabrina Clark and Jennifer Chen for SHS TV. Happy holidays, Falcons. Enjoy your break and see you in 2016.